mutual card. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we be the best way to put it is, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Sophie's hearing. Yeah, we should listen to it. Sort of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? No, not just the locals, but my own as well. So that's why I was made the test monarch. He planned on turning me into just another puppet. Test monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not going to win. He can't take this from me. My desire is not my own. I refuse to simply give it up! <sighs> Dude, it sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? We'll only find out if we keep going. Still hear the voice. Does its owner recognize me? Hey, don't go overthinking yourself. He's right, you know. Our expert on not thinking Focus. gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen to the What's that? Hey, Focus. shut up! Uh-oh. I think they're I wonder what happened to the director after the last recording. Sincerely doubting if you were. I can see it. Sounded as if it was beyond good sound. So, from What's that? all the way here to the director, everyone was just being used for something? The perpetrator is still out there. We have to stop him. Hopefully, this place will have some news. I can see it. It's like a treasure chest to me. Wanna open it? Yeah. <laughs> 
yours. Let's go. Persona! This one, there. This one. There. This one, there. Oh boy, that one looks dangerous. Super powerful. On your toes, guys. Come <laughs> on. 
Try this one out. This is my final record. I've done That's such a terrible thing. The penitentiary system is nothing like you told me. And it's not made to save humanity. It sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this. There will be seized at any moment now. But as long as I still have it. I can put an end to this myself. Controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. All right, that direction we go. Is your stamina okay? Make sure you don't burn yourself I'm out. Coming. I'll do it. <sighs> Checkpoint. What's that? Good timing. Finish him off! Huh? 
What's that? Hmm. Focus. Looks like at least a little more challenge. Let's move on. Oh, a treasure chest. Ha! I imagine we're going to open it. What's that? Shadow sighted. What should we do? The enemy hasn't noticed us. Now's our chance. What is that? This could be what we need.
focus. We're taking this out. Except that it's locked. Apparently it's for Leave it to me. Just a few seconds and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what. Time to start hacking. You guys ready? Got it. Rep it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this one. There, okay. This one, okay. I'm sorry, thank you. There. This one, there. There, okay, there. This one. Thank you. I think 
There's any shit. <laughs> We made it. No monarch here. Or anyone else. But look at that! The hell? The desire's already there? Without the calling card? Sophia, I have been waiting for you. Where did that voice come from? Who are you? I am the catalyst for humanity's dream. I am the harbinger of peace. That sounds just like Sophie. Uh, what is going on 
here. This monarchless jail in which we meet. I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director... I see. This jail lost its monarch. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So you didn't speak to me because you recognized me. Sophia, what is your prime directive? I am... supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. A successful companion? What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What... parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on! You got no right saying that shit to Sophie! You hear me? You high and mighty, garbage-ass, judgy piece of shit! Can't even show your own face! Hey! Hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends! And we know she's awesome! She's friggin' amazing! A million times better than you! So shut the fuck up, idiot! Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time! Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh yeah? Well get out here and I'll show you something you can process! Well I'll mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. What the hell's that mean? Yeah, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! What the... It's that thing from the trauma cells! So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming! Look out! Incoming warden! <laughs> Hey, Sophie! Snap out of it! We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Right! Sophie! Focus on our enemy for now! I'm sorry... Slon! Hi, Pitch! McCall, Siljack! Pink Slyco! Are set! I'll get them! Yes! I'm thinking! Yeah. Yeah. That's how you are the leader! Yeah. This thing 
Tricks up its sleeves. Fire! I can't predict its movements. Fire! Dodging all of this can be too tough. You should focus. Okay, okay, this one. There, okay, this one. There, Ooh. this one. Ooh. There, this one. There, okay. I'm so grateful. This one. Come on, Gordy. Four. Care to join us? Get ready!
We managed to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> Is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it! None of this makes sense. <sighs> Man, what's the deal with this place? Indeed. We never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden. Well, it could be due to the lack of a monarch. Whatever the case is. The desire should have been released back to their owners. The locals should all be back to normal by now. I seriously hope so. I don't feel like living through another B movie. I'm sorry, everyone. Sophie. After all your efforts, this mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually. Right. However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. But when that made everyone angry, I became happy. I still feel that way. Even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figure that out now? I mean, that thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in Skull, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? Nuh-uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But, uh, I'm not telling anything. Well, we should head back to the exit. Finally hitting me. Oh, hang on. It's morning already. Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen, Zen Kichi. We can tell you later. But now, I must sleep. Oh. Like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though. Who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Huh. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. <sighs> A 
I slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me. Why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh, yeah. We never sent a calling card. from the tapes. The director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest? How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the Monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name? Shuzo Ubukata. Some sort of big-shot AI researcher. And director of the lab. Obviously, an autopsy will be done. But based on what you reported, it's most likely gonna turn out suicide. That can't be... Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh, uh, good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. Anyway... I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. But are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is... There's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. I mean, literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer! You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top ten places people hide things in the workplace. Hey, Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest! Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. Nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names. These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? 
Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see. Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed, you think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear, I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. I... Uh, I was gonna... At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Totally! Might as well complete the Phantom Thieves tour of the islands. Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey! Have a moment.
my next motif should be. Yes. Speaking of which... Let's go. Let us part for now. Yes. Nice. Is that everything? Is that everything? Here are your goods. Come back whenever! Watch out to that, I'm so to that, I'm so to that!
What? Yeah. Sorry. That everything is go. That everything is stay safe. Well, hello. So that's what you get. Can you hope? So that's what you get. You bit me recommend. Can you hope? So that's what you're getting. Thank you, bit. So that's what you get. Can you hold? So that's what you get. Can you hold all that? Stop by again. Make like a tree. What's on the menu? Let me help. We making this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is thanks. Yes. We making this? Yes. Go 
Let's see. These jails certainly have an appeal unlike that of a palace. Should things settle down? Out 
this way. I'll reveal your truth more. Look, you're panicking! Persona!
on. As if we'd lose. All right, on to the next. It's a shot. Ready for an ass kicking? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let up! Finish it! 
Safe to say we overwhelmed them. Whew. Okay, on to the next one. Hmm. I'm feeling drained. Something here is calling to me. What's that? I can see it. It's a shadow! Careful, okay? There's a checkpoint near here. I recommend stopping by. Let's go. This 
Switch out. Okay, got it. You got it. Sure. Go ahead. I accept. They put up a fight.
have the advantage. I say we take them. Let's go. Time to teach the huh. This is the request. You're already working on this one. Yours. Shall we? Shadow sighted. This one. This one. 
Who's this? This one. Who's this? Close you. Much of a challenge, were they? Oh, nice one. Keep it up. Shadow ahead. You're mine! Don't forget! 
Danger present. Huh. Something here is calling. Let's make our way back. And then... Time to go. Mensore, what are you selling? Bummin, are you sure? Bummin, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Bummin, are you sure? There's a sale happening. Now's your chance to shop. You please for your patronage. You thank you very much. How many would you like? You put it to good use, okay? You put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You will face for your patronage. How many would you like? You face for your patronage. You face for your patronage. How many would you like? You thank you very much. You face for your patronage. How many would you like? You you're buying quite a bit. How many would you like? You thank you very much. You thank you very much. You put it to good use, okay? 
Hey, thanks for your patron. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You put it to good use. Um, how many would you like? If you're buying quite a bit. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You put it to good use. Okay, how many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You thank you very much. Who is it for? Which one? You want this one? You want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage! You want, you want to equip that? Put it to good use, okay? You want this? You want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage! You want this? You want to equip that? You're buying quite a bit! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! Who is it for? Are you coming? 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 Are you sure? I'll just add this. What are you gonna do? Hello, Commissioner. I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> it sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for jails, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check the Woka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what the? 
What's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to stick bay! ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot to Kyushu. But I never planned on this. I'll use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Fukuoka at last! Ready to make some nostalgia happen? Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway... I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. That would be wise. We should find a place to stay so Mako-chan can recover. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it! First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it! Sophia, you know the drill! Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Ah, wow, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone, it's time for some R&R. &R. Oh, man. Um, how have I been alive this long without Hakata Tokotsu? I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue, specked with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your, uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. So you finally admit you're a cat. <laughs> Over ramen? Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Oh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? better after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say, though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We ought to get our licenses soon. I believe Haru has one already. That is true. Though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Huh? Oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Makoto? You don't look so well. Uh, no, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap! We better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You'd think this was a ramen buffet. Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. 
For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Zenkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? Alright. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Oh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck, then what about a bullet train? Or, wait, can't you ask Akumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the Sanyoto from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Hey, how far is Kyoto from here? Roughly eight hours by highway. Then we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom breaks done, seats comfy. Snacks ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs> then I'll drive. Mako-chan, I'm taking over. Huh? You know, Haru, you don't have to force yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. You don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this. But the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel... Get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. <laughs> Gonna puke. Okay. My apologies, Haru, but I request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Meow Gun is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura. What happened? Um, I was just driving normally. I think. <sighs> Oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. 
So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right. Let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the Mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who we ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. N no, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to chief cabinet secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayoshi Shido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? Hell of an evil asshole. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Uh, isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Kanoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big time elite. And Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is. Meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka with Kanoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving... Then we were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Kanoe's the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts, too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah. And from the look of it, not just the rank and file, either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. The most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? You do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, 
It's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Right. If Kanoe really is a monarch, we can corner him into a confession. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Kanoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Kanoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking. So I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna hit up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? Now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really wanna complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? This is the spot Ramps got us? Am, am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? It looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Right behind you. Wow. Oh, it's just as gorgeous inside. Dang. I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey, guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Why? Did I suggest something wrong? There's a lot that's wrong. If you're gonna go at all, go with me. Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair! But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yalgana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. 